Uh, hey, y'all. I guess you're wondering what happened to that free giveaway. Well, you know, like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, y'all. Y'all, maybe I'll just do it right now. Giving away this free, fantastical comic, you know? Yeah, I'll do it right now. Nothing should come up right now. I should probably just do this right now. Hold up. Who be calling me on my prestigious private line? Hello? Yes? My God. Something's come up. Yes, it's me. I'm here. Live at the scene of the crime. Excuse me, sir. It's a blockade. We're blockading the Timmies. We're here. Okay. Peter Parker has decided to park his car and he is blocking the Timmies. Hold on. Let's get the, let's get the folks reaction here. Man, there's a blockade on the Timmies. Is it okay? Huh? On est, on est en train de bloquer le Timmies. Ouais, mais il faut pas. C'est moi, ça me prend mon café à matin. Oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Okay, appelle la police, c'est bon. Elle appelle ça en vient. What can you say about this? Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Is that Peter Parker for real, though? So it's about to hit your newsfeed, guys. The blockade of the Canadian economy. Let me break it down for you. There's some people out west. They didn't want a gas line going through the territory. They were indigenous people. They didn't sign on to the Canadian government at any point in time or something. And they didn't want a gas line going through their territory. And, you know, big corporation, you know how they are. They planned it for it to go that way and that's the way it's gotta go. No alternative routes for me. I paid for that route. I'm sticking to that route. And um, so those people got incredibly offended that they were just pushed aside. Like they didn't matter. Like it, nothing was going to happen. And they took to the internet and started to look for help. And other people across Canada in solidarity sided with them. That you're not going to have big corporations step on little people just because you can. And they shut down the Canadian railway system. So if you're in America, um, this is the situation. Canada's railway system, shut down. Okay? Coast to coast. It's over. Economy, shut it down. Shut it down. The codfish in Halifax can't reach the people in Ontario. Shut it down. And the government is... Um, oh, they're freaking out. So... This week, you're going to hear about it galore all over the news, which is the propaganda arm of our military colony that we live under. If you're new to Canada, uh, Canada is ruled by the governor general. Uh, not No, not the prime minister. The prime minister is the prime minister of the lower house of commons. And he reports to the upper house of lords, lords, oh lords, who are unelected for life. $90,000 a year salary, car paid, travel paid, all expenses paid, House of Lords, unelected. Do I need to say that again? They're unelected. They make all the laws in Canada. They're unelected. The Prime Minister reports to them. Yes, it's me, the Prime Minister. What should I tell the Commons, Lords? And then the Lords basically tell them, oh, we're going to run a fucking gas pipeline through these indigenous territories and, you know, fuck them. Fuck those people. They're sitting there. Get the cops. Get the military. And this is what fucking happened. They literally have military out there shoveling old ladies around, telling them to fucking, at gunpoint, get out of here. We're trying to put a gas pipeline. We're trying to run this economy on fucking fossil fuels and gas. Get out of here. So other people are getting upset because, rightfully so, that's a fucking gun you're pointing at an old lady who has every right to tell you that they don't want a natural gas pipeline going through the fucking land because it's stupid it's natural gas it's 2020 can we fucking have another fuel source other than dinosaur farts so anyways my point being is that the prime minister is a piece of shit and doesn't have any power in this except for the propaganda and the persuasion that he's going to sell you the real power in canada comes from the governor general the general of the army who is a representative of the Queen Elizabeth of England. 
This is all in our constitution. Canada is run. It's a constitutional monarchy. It's run by the Queen. Since she can't be here, the Governor General signs all documents as a representative of her. This is me, the Governor General, saying the Queen would totally be down with this. Exclamation point. That's the person who fucking signs things into law. That's the person who's literally like, natural gas, it's happening, Governor General. Send in the fucking military, Governor General. And he's gonna Governor General fucking signature, CBC, to spin some crazy shit. And this is gonna be the revolution that's not televised. The revolution will not be televised, people, okay? So you're not going to see the real thing on TV. What you're going to see is a spin, some spin doctor shit. And you need to be aware, you need to be awake enough to realize that what you're seeing is a propaganda arm of our military. And just because you're Canadian, don't get all fucking sappy on me, maple syrupy, okay? Canada, it sucks, okay? As much as we got some fucking roads in Quebec that don't work, and uh, they'll microwave you when you get sick, it's not the greatest place in the world, okay? They just sell you that. And we want to believe that, yeah, it's a fucking great place. It's really not, okay? We're in a fucking tax farm. We're being farmed for our natural resource, our human power. We are taxed upon it. And the House of Lords gets all the money. They get everything. And when they want to sell us out to whoever the fuck wants natural gas, that's what they do. And when that small economy... And people, whoever they are, they're indigenous people, but whoever they are, when they're like, yo, you're not passing that shit to our fucking town, we, we should respect that. And we should come up with another fucking, it's 2020, we should come up with another way where we're not fucking people. And right now we're fucking people. And that's why the railways are blocked. Because it's just not right. And the only way to spin this is to make it seem like the protesters are the ones at fault. So that's the storyline that you're going to see. That these protesters are holding Canada hostage. Are they? Is that is that how you hold Canada hostage? You get 12 fucking guys and you sit them on a railway. And that's it. The whole economy shut it down. Shut it down. It's done. That's pretty fucking sad. But at the same time, pretty awesome. That... There is a power that people wield. This is a card that they played and should be incredibly respected. Get out there with gunpoint all you want. It's not going to help the situation. If Canadians want, they could shut down your entire corporate fucking machine simply by sitting on your rails. And I think that's the revolution. The revolution is that the people versus corporations is taking place right now in Canada. You've seen it. They came and they they stopped the Germ D giveaway. Can you believe this? There's even a blockade of it. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are we going to do? They, they've come for the Germ D giveaway. And that's why I went after the Tim Hortons. It's just a joke. It's just a joke to capture your attention. Once I got your attention, I'm going to try and tell you the real juice of the matter. They're going to sell you some shit. And you need to be awake enough to realize when you're being sold some shit by a military propaganda arm known as the CBC. Okay? When they tell you on CBC some shit, don't necessarily believe it. Especially when they're laying people off and trying to rouse. Okay, if you're really new to this, they're going to lay people off. They're going to fucking fire people and say that it's people sitting on rails and not corporations. Because let's be real, the corporation is losing money right now because people are sitting on rails. They have guys on calculators that are calculating how much money they're losing and they're just going to fire people to make up for that loss. And then they're going to go on CBC and say that the people that are on the rails are the ones that made them fire those people when they're not. The corporations just don't want to take the hit on their own chin. So they fire people. And then they make the other employees who are on salary anyways pick up the whole load. They're not going to lose money. They're savages. They're not going to lose any fucking money. But they're going to make it seem like they're the ones that are the victims here when they are absolutely evil. And they need to be made accountable for this. And that's why everyone needs to realize that this is all a sham. 
And the people who are standing up and sitting on the rails are standing up for the little guy who are being trampled on by corporations. And Canada has been taken over by corporations. In fact, we're just one big corporation. We're the corporation of the crown. We're a militarized colony. And we need to wake up to that fact. And we need to realize that those people are being wronged. We need to right that wrong. And then we need to make sure that it never happens again. I.e., we need to get rid of the Senate. We need to get rid of the Governor General. And we actually need to have a real nation. And not just a militarized colony. So look. This has been... Jerm Dini's living room saying, hey, hopefully we'll do the giveaway soon. All right, here we go. I'm going to pick the, the winner of that fantastical free delivery bootleg comics. Here we go. The winner is all the, well, I can't read it all, but, but rest assured you have indeed won. And there's only one thing you need to do, and that's. Send me emojis. We live on emojis here. Welcome back to Peter Parker parking and blocking the Tim Hortons drive through That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We came, we saw, and we blockaded the Tims. That's right, they couldn't keep up with the blockade. They had to close. They had to ferme. It's complete pandemonium out here. But just let this be a lesson to all of you out there that the blockade does work.